it's a 4th of July tradition, but only in Hawaii, the longest running canoe race in the history of the sport was held today off Waikiki. KITV4 Sigalgaia reports on why paddlers love this event. This is the 68th year of the annual 4th of July Walter McFarlane Canoe Regatta held in Waikiki. The beach was packed as 16 different canoe clubs came to compete. It's right on the beach in front of Dukes and the course goes straight out either a half mile or a full mile in the Waikiki surf. Today an unexpected swell showed up for the race. Perfect waves, not too big, but big enough to push the outrigger canoes to the finish line. This race involves a combination of paddler's strength and skill combined with luck and the steersman's ability to catch a wave. So you just want to get out, get, as, get off the line as fast as you can, um, get, obviously get to your turn, turn around and kind of take your time coming back. Uh, not take your time, but conserve some energy because when a wave or a bump or, or a push comes, you want to be able to, to give it your all to get, get on one of those waves. Hopefully you're you get lucky and you uh, can get out clean and get big waves coming in. Even though this race doesn't count toward the points or standing or ranking throughout the overall season, the paddlers take it very seriously. This is the true racing because, you know, like back in the days, they always had racing and there was always waves. So, I mean, for me, this is like traditional racing, except that we're using one fiberglass canoe because they always caught waves when they raced in the old times. A great event, a July 4th tradition. Dick Allgaier, KITV4 News in Waikiki. And this year, each canoe club sponsored a military team, which battled with them in an event to honor service members on this July 4th holiday. That race just finished late this afternoon.